Describe his character to me because it was so inspirational, it was so motivational. What's he like? Yeah, just an incredible bloke and he's one of these people who everyone you meet, nobody has a one bad word to say about Doddy Weir. So there's this guy afflicted with a horrific disease and he has an amazing family so he talks about family and we're all part of families. And he Amazing seeing his boys and his wife, and I think that was quite an insight, wasn't it? Yeah, and... and well, we, uh, we're talking about the BBC Sports Personality the Year Awards. You were there, Laura. I know that. Cause yeah. Yeah, but we're um, not going to go there. Yeah, again, <laughs> we're amazing. We're not no, we're not doing there. that. So, yeah, an amazing <laughs> night. It was an amazing night, but do you know what uh, struck to me was that there was such a mixed review, there's such mixed reviews of sports personality that I maybe wasn't aware of, uh, you know, effort and determination. Do you think, as an award ceremony, it is really there? Just um, if you are a pop fan, the battle for this year's Christmas number one is over. YouTuber Lad Baby? Lad Baby? <laughs> I'm only kidding you. Yes. Uh, topped the charts this year with his sausage roll theme cover of I Love Rock and Roll. He beats Storms in Wham to the to claim the title, but they weren't. <laughs> Shall I read this? The only, but only they weren't the only the ones accolade. battling for the accolade. A group from the Isle of Lewis also were aiming for the top spot. Mm. Pete and Diesel's fairy tale in Stornoway didn't quite make it into the top 40. You know what that is, John, don't you? But they did <laughs> reach number on. two in the Scottish charts. Here's a wee snippet of the version of the Pogues and Kirsty McCall classic. But, you know, good field work. <laughs> you both ought to be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> classic one. I've got Christmas song. Uh, there's only one Christmas song. You are all incorrect. It's E17. <laughs> <laughs> number one. I'm with you, Laura. I'm it's gonna have uh -huh. you pass on. So this is Christmas. Oh, that's oh. a nice one. He changes. Yeah. Loved it. I tell you what. I'm, this is, this, I'm gonna judge you on this. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yes or no? Yes. This is um, as important as they were back in the day. These songs. They only stay at number one for a week now. Last Christmas classic. Yeah. Yeah. Remember. Generations might disagree with that because there's been Justin Bieber, there's been uh, Ariana Grande who have songs that are on all the time now, are probably on more often really? than the, the song. Child. Yes, for this I know. For you guys and same having thing. fun? Same thing. Laura? Yeah. The same? same. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a Saturday off maybe once would be nice. Yeah. Yes, tonight, seven yeah. days won't be back next week. We're all on holiday. I'm not. I'm not either. <laughs> we have 365 days, and that's to look back over all the big stories of the year. In the meantime, on behalf of us all here on Seven Days, we wish you a very happy Christmas and New Year, and we will see you in January. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.